good morning guys welcome to another video so in this one we'll be looking at how to deal with a uniform rod that is at the point of turning about a particular point so without further ado let's go so in this this example i got it from example 9 from page 124 of uh, pearson's mechanics 1m and one book and the main idea is so it's already been labeled and you can see the same diagram is that we're dealing with a uniform rod and in this uniform rod the question tells us to calculate, find the value of the mass M, okay, which is located at the point B, hanging on point B. We also we also given we also know that this rod is uniform. So in other words, the center of mass will always be bang in the middle at distance two meters. The rod itself is four meters long, and what we need to know, and what we also know is that the rod is at the point of turning about D. So what does it mean when the rod is at a point of turning? Think of this logically. Suppose you had a, a natural rod and this is its original state. And if it's turning about D, the motion of the rod will be something like this. Or like this. So it's tilting around a particular point. If you think about it, the reaction you had here, the pivot, it will literally be loose. So there will be no force on it. So this would actually be empty. Because if you're tilting about here the only thing that's keeping it in place is the reaction here this is not just the, the weight of um, the reaction on this pivot C is pretty much non-existence hence we just say it's zero so yeah that's literally the main idea of tilting so for example you tilt this pen the only thing holding it is, is where my fingers are but the reaction I was here previously is empty as if there was nothing to begin with so without further ado let's solve this equation so if the if the rod is tilting about the point D, hence that means every reaction would be zero. So this means R C off the bat is zero. Now, let's resolve it properly, yeah? So without further ado, resolving upwards, what do we get? Well, we're looking at all the forces, we've got R C plus R D. And that and looking downwards we've got minus twelve G minus M G equals zero. Knowing that RC is 0 and plusing these two across, we should have RD equals 12G plus MG. Or factorizing uh, G out, we have 12 plus M. And that's it. So this is the RD resolved. Easy. Now to take moments, the easiest way I always tell everyone is to always consider starting at point A. So when you're going across, you can treat either one as positive or negative. I mean, this would be uh, anti-clockwise by definition, downwards would be clockwise. But, because it's in equilibrium, you can always set this one to positive like you do with resolving forces. And resolve it and take a moment downwards, they are all negative. So, take a moment is always the distance times the force, so it would be 0 0.5. So, let's, 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 let's define it properly. Yeah? So, take a moment about A. So, a moment about A. We could instantly say that we have first distance, which is 0 0.5 times RC plus all the way across times RD. So the distance from here to here, A to D, is 3.5 times RD. And now looking downwards, we now we subtract, we've got A to 12G, 2 times 12G is 24G. And then A to B, which is 4 meters long, as, we, as defined in the beginning, is... Uh, yeah, is minus 4 times mg. And all of this is set to 0. Knowing that RC again equals 0, we can cancel this one out immediately. or we'll just rub it out. And knowing that RD was G times 12m, we can just therefore say our new equation is 3.5 G bracket 12 plus m minus 24G minus 4mg. The cool thing about this equation that everything is in terms of G. So instantly, we can knock out the G. So this is a nice way to solve things, guys. And left, we're left with 3.5 times 12 plus M minus 24 minus 4M. So let's expand this fully, okay? What do we get here? So we've got 3.5 times 12 should give us 42. So, yep, 42. Plus 3.5 times m is 3.5m of course, minus 24, minus 4m equals 0. And of course, collecting terms, 3.5 minus 4, put another side, we're going to get 0.5m. And on the left side, 42 
take away 24 should give us 18 and hence dividing both sides by 0 0.5 let me just rub this out to to give this a nice final touch should give us a clean mass of 36 kilograms and that's it guys hope this video helps and um, let me know if you need out any other problems around moments or around um, the turning point yep so i shall see you all soon ciao ciao